Hello there, everyone. Zitaki here with Slickstar Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of 13 Sentinels, Egypt's Rib. Well, it's time for another episode. Seems obvious, right? Well then, I'll just stop talking, and uh, we'll get right back into the game, shall we? As Keitaro Mira faced off against the American weapons, he and the Sentinel were engulfed by a bright light. He awoke to find himself in 1985 Japan. Sunset is always the same. That's good, I guess. I don't care that we lost. I'm proud my country could rebuild after what happened. But I won't accept this future. Now that I know we lose the war, that's all the more reason to go back. I'll bring the Sentinel with me, and I'll change history. It's my duty to fight and protect the people. I have to save as many of them as I can. <sighs> but what if it's impossible for me to go back? What if I'm trapped here? Shihiro. All right, that's enough. Get it together. Don't get discouraged. You will make it back. But will you? No matter what it takes. Hmm. I wonder. What if I never actually traveled through time? Ah, uh, what? It's possible that space-time here is warped somehow. But it could just be a local effect. I should try heading toward the school. Maybe time is flowing normally over there. Sir, I think... Alright, whatever. Despite a catastrophic loss, Japan recovered quite well. Good job. It seems to have entered a prosperous new era. Almost too prosperous. Before the war, my uncle gave me a sci-fi novel. A story about traveling through time to the future. It only ever felt like a far-off fantasy. To think it ever become a reality. But just think of all the new video games in the future that you can play now. Why were just the Sentinel and I brought here? That thing is beyond me. I'm no expert. But I know it's capable of some extraordinary feats. Time travel, though. Could the Sentinel possess an ability like that? Japanese World War II vets discovering ketchup for the first time. Hmm. Our mother's terrible at sewing, but she made this for Chihiro. I'd never seen her struggle with anything so hard, but she did it. It's pieced together with scraps of cloth, not the best quality. Even still, Chihiro took it with her wherever she went. I checked the library for any records of such a weapon, but in all of history, nothing like it has ever existed. Not in the US, not anywhere. What was that thing? Japan loves ketchup? That would explain Pikachu in the Pokemon anime then. Hurry up, Miwa chan! Yep, hurry. Slow down, Iori chan. Female students. Don't don't describe them that Looks way. That's like weird. The school's still here. Isn't that? I thought we were talking about that guy. I was like, what? Hey, hold on. Uh, Miyorakun? Thank goodness. You're Natsuno Minami, right? The one I met at the shrine. What are you doing here? I've got to say, you had me pretty worried. I had no idea where you went. I just... I can't believe you're here, too. I couldn't find you anywhere. I thought you got snatched up and hauled off to Area 51. What? But anyway, 
What have you been up to? Wait, first... Where have you been? <sighs> A kind student's been letting me stay at his place. Aside from that, I've been sleeping outdoors. Outdoors? Hang on. This is my mess, so I have to figure out how to clean it up. But then again... Hmm... I can't really bring a boy into the house. Oh, yeah! Granny Tamal went on a trip. So Juro-kun should be the only one home. That house does have a lot of rooms. Granny Tamal? Uh, sorry. Let me go grab my stuff really quick. I'll be right back, so just wait here. Then we'll head over to the Karabe's house. Karabe? Yeah, guy, it's a name. You got a problem with names? Managed to leave quite the dent. Chihiro? <laughs> you don't have to cry. It's not like you did this on purpose. I'm sure Uncle isn't mad about it anymore. What about you? Are you mad? Of course not. I'm your big brother. I'll always be on your side, Chihiro. Now, come on out. So, how do you hit the pillar with the laundry bucket? Well, I was swinging really you must hard. have been playing pretty rough. And then I let go. The bunny was biting. What? And it beat up giant ghosts. What? Because the ghosts smash all the houses. And more of them keep coming. Such strange ghosts. Did you come up with them yourself? No, Tamao told me about them. I... I'm sorry, Chihiro-chan. My father has quite a short temper. Sorry, this was all my fault. Tamao-san. It only happened because I told Chihiro-chan about my dreams. About aliens and robots fighting? Yeah. Is it okay for you to be awake right now? Mm-hmm. I've been feeling much better lately. And I have Goto-san from Tokyo to thank for that. He's been sharing some foreign medicine with me. It's just that... Ever since I started taking it, I keep having strange dreams. But they feel like more than just dreams. They're like memories that I just suddenly remember. It seems to be happening a lot around here. <laughs> Air raid. The sirens. This is bad. Turn on the radio. Ma'am, that used to be a TV. This military broadcast. Air raid alarms have been sounded. Enemy is flying at low altitude. More air units to be expected. To prepare against the coming invasion, we ask all citizens to unite as we fortify our air defenses. It's a massive enemy raid. We have to hurry to a bomb-proof shelter. Come on, Chihiro-chan. We have to go. Jiro-kun! Are you home? Minami-san. Couldn't you have knocked first? Come on! Your Granny Tamao and I are best buds. We're neighbors. Think I don't know my way around the place? Anyway, I've got a favor to ask. What's up? Oh, Minami-san. I didn't know you lived so close. Did you really need to come out? You're Yakushiji-san, our classmate? Wait, no way. Are you two... Do you need something from him? <sighs> it's not what it looks like. But it could be. This is just... You know, Natsuno-san? Oh, come on in. Pardon my interruption. 
Yeah, I, I know I've seen this scene. I couldn't remember if it was from if it was in a Juro story, if it was in Natsuno's story. Natsuno san. Get it together, Keitaro. She certainly is quite Yes. I admit she's bright, cheerful, attractive. Guy, get it together. But right now, I have more urgent matters to tend to. Yes, like your hat. <sighs> so this house is still standing. Who are you? My name is Keitaro Miura. So, um, it's kind of complicated, but yeah. I need you to let him stay over for a few days. What? How do you know Minami-san? Uh... Come on, I know you have a spare room. You could say we Just knew each other from... Until your granny's back. We, we have a long history, In you exchange, could say that. I won't tell anyone you're living with a girl. <laughs> That's not... The details don't matter. Just let him stay, alright? Thanks, see ya! Haha, -ha. you don't get to be alone with him anymore. I am here now. Natsuno-san, is this... It's fine, it's fine. I live super close by. So if you need anything, just let me know. Okay, bye-bye. There she goes. Well, this is awkward. Pardon me. I know Natsuno-san's intentions are good, but I really don't want to be an inconvenience. Are you hungry? Why don't you join us for dinner? No, I shouldn't. Well, we haven't eaten yet, so I think we will. Your stomach thinks you should. No, that was, uh... I'll go fix you a plate. So, Tamao-san is your grandmother? Is she in good health? Grandma? She's fit as a fiddle. She's visiting relatives back in Shimane. That's why she isn't here. Shimane? She must be with her mother's side of the family in Iwami. Do you know my grandma? Oh, we go way back. Yes. You do, huh? So then? How long do you need a place to stay? Not long. Just until I can make my way back home. Well, alright. If that's the case, it shouldn't be a problem. Just try not to cause any trouble. Feel free to use the guest room on the first floor. Thank you. I'll go do that now. Or if I knew how to get there. There's a projection device where the radio used to be. It's been lightly remodeled, but it's the same house. I could have sworn it burned to the ground. Yeah, Cloud thought the same thing. There's a projection to it's been lightly re What the heck am I supposed to look at then? Oh, here we go. <sighs> The damage on this pillar is missing, and it wasn't changed when they remodeled. If this really is the Karabe's house, then it should be right here. Chihiro left a dent in this pillar. I mean, there's all kinds of possible answers for that.
house. Hmm. Oh. Were you just on a call with someone else? With Professor Karabe, yes. When we were discussing the layout of the residential zone. Oh, that's right. Professor Karabe was born in the 21st century. She's 120 years old, right? I know that she's receiving nanomachine treatment, but she still looks so young. She's Professor Morimura's mentor, I hear. Quite an intelligent individual. Well, yeah. She is the foremost expert on AI, after all. Right. Anyway, is something wrong? Why does something have to be wrong for me to call? Well, I just so happen to have a really urgent problem. I need emotional support stat. And I need it from you. Oh, that does sound urgent. Then I'll be waiting. All right. Yeah, emotional support, in quotations. Oh, because I did wave five. Okay. I was like, what? What do you mean locked? I don't, I don't like that it throws the lock on there and it doesn't just automatically remove itself once you're able to do them. I feel like it should just... If I clear the condition, remove the lock. Don't make me yes. unlock it. I don't, I'm not a fan of that. Uh, before we jump into the next one, though, I want to take a little bit of time, just a quick couple minutes, and write down how much percent everybody has so I can kind of like use that to gauge who I want to do next. So just give me a bit here. All right, well, now that I've done that, in general, I think I'm just gonna do like whoever has the lowest amount of percent, but I also don't wanna ever do like, like the same character back to back. So we're gonna go over to Ninja Ogata. Also partly because I want to unlock the fricking Victim of the Poison event, which maybe we'll get to do soon. I don't know. I just wanna do Sandwich Boy again. You know, that's all. Ninja Ogata and Tomiki Saragi left the station to break free from the repeating train accident. Only to find that the kaiju have already invaded the town. Hmm. I guess when you put it like that, maybe you've got a point. I should slow down and think a little. Still, though. I also hey, missed that sandwich, man. What? Sorry, I was talking to chat. What do you want, Tommy? I'm back. It's happening all over again. You're acting kind of weird. Yeah, it's really getting to me. 
already sick of all this shit. But what can I do? Well, we can always uh, think about the attack a little bit. Matter if we run, we never make it out in time. We only got a couple minutes until they ruin this place. Even if I told someone about this, nobody would believe me. That is the bitch of time loops, guy. Okay, none of those have new thoughts. Here? Hey, where are you going? Well, look what we got here. Yeah, hi, see you guys again. Most punchable face in the city. I don't agree with that. There are more punchable faces for sure. Alright, I'm just gonna Is there any point? Okay. I really don't want to talk to him. Trying to run? Yeah, I'm trying to run. You think I'd run from you? Huh? Yep, we're gonna try and run again. You trying to? You, I. God damn it! I think it's about time we settled our shit. Uh. Do I have to? Like. Hey. Come on, you're fighting again. I don't want to fight this guy. This idiot. What do we got here? You trying to score with this little? Stop it! Listen, oh, they did deserve it. me off, this wouldn't keep happening. Damn it! <laughs> All right, don't get on the train. Train's bad. The train's already here. I'm gonna go. No. You can't. You can't. I won't let you. I will stand in your way. You cannot get on this train. See, I'm in your way. You can't get on the train. What the fuck? You can't just leave her alone. Back to space. Damn it. Always turns out the same. The train gets derailed. And Kizaragi doesn't make it. Did you find the key? Yeah. Answer me, Ninji Ogata. Man, I don't goddamn know. Who the hell are you? What's even going on here? You gonna explain any of this shit? Find it, and I'll tell you. Tell me how to find it, and I'll try. You need to find the key. Time for a do-over. You're going back. Is it a literal key? Is it a non-literal key? What the fuck am I looking for? I guess when you put it like that, maybe you've got a point. I should slow down and think a little. Hey, do you know about a key? Hey, Kisaragi. You don't have some kind of key handy, right? What does that even mean? D it means do you have, have a fucking key, key or house. not? Is this Can I have it? it? Nah, probably not. I mean, hell, even I've got some house keys. I mean, you don't know, it could be a special house key. Hey, where are you going? I gotta go find... Hello. Isn't that... I feel like I know that guy she's with. Who is he? Why are you being all sneaky? I, I don't know. No reason. Wait, that's Iori over there. <sighs> what, are you hiding from Iori? Maybe. That's not it. What? Don't tell me you like Yori. Nah. Hey, it's not like that. He likes you, obviously. <laughs> Isn't that Karabe? Hey. What? I'm still talking to you here. Oh. <sighs> Stop dodging the question. Which question? I want a real answer. For real, it's not like that. There, answer your question. Then what is it like? What do you care? You're not my girlfriend. 
Yet. Why are you even getting so worked up? It's not a big deal. I was just curious. Sheesh. Fancy meeting you here. Usami-chan. Iori, your place isn't this way, right? Where are you going Kizuragi's with Okina? hanging around. I've just got a thing Kinda over in Tsutsuki. Kinda hard to talk to Fuyu Saga There's like this. Let's go, Okino-kun. Well, let's go talk to the other guy. I know I saw Karabe around here. Where'd he go? He must have gone somewhere. Okay, still can't talk to them. Wait, what? Hold up. Oh, it's getting in. I don't want to get on that train. Ah! Gotcha. I don't got time to deal with you, guy. Listen. No more. You don't think about a key. Hey, you guys got this key thing? What key? What the hell are you talking about? I don't know, man. Just whatever keys you got. I, I had my motorcycle key. <clears throat> my teacher took it away. Idiot. Yeah, boo freaking who. Come on. The main thing about Ninja Story is that you have to the follow people onto here. their trains. Ah. Yeah, 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 I don't get the key. Send me back. Hey, where are you going? Hey. Hey. Oh, do I have to? Come on. Get on your train. <sighs> they got on the train. What do I do? Yes. Hey, that's the wrong train. No, it's not. Bye. Oh, hello. That's weird. I know they got on. Give me the key. What's wrong? Are you looking for someone? Sure am, kid. You see a couple school kids uh, about my age? What? A couple school kids? What the hell? The fuck? Was that like magic? Nah. The hell am I thinking? Body swapping. Okay, look. I know this seems real sketchy. I mean, heck, I'm the guy who chased you onto a train here. But there's something I gotta know. Do you have some kind of key on you? I mean. Not like a regular house key. It's supposed to be kind of special, except I don't really know how. <sighs> yeah, this still sounds pretty damn weird, huh? Hey! Yeah, that's fair. I'd run away too. That said. Hey, hold on. Why? Why are you looking for something like that? I don't know. A space question. lady wants me to. Man, I don't know how I'd even explain it. You're looking for the key? What the fuck is happening? You're the one who originally carried it. Young man. What? The school nurse. Wait, I was just talking to Fuyusaka. Alright, Kuroko is right. We need to reset the simulation. Are you Fuyusaka or... Wait, I know you. The League of Darkness. What? I remember now. You're one of the bad guys. This'll only hurt for a moment. 
Ow. That hurt. Playing this late? Should you be out here alone, young man? I'm not playing! I'm training! Say, you must be Nenji Ogata-kun, right? How about I walk you back to your house? Uh, you're fishy, lady. You talk like the League of Darkness people. They say all that same stuff when they kidnap kids. The League of Darkness? The bad guys from Common Hero, duh. Right, kids and their TV. But you know, I think you're the real bad guy here. Eight years from now, you're going to call a bunch of monsters and destroy the world. Am not! I'd never turn to the side of evil! You're still going to do it whether you're good or evil. Sometimes, things just happen. The you can't hell? trick me. I'm not Hold gonna it. get kidnapped. Little punk. Missed. <sighs> that was close. I guess I just did a big lap around the block. What do I do? Well, you have a baseball she bat. A gun. She tried to shoot me. She really is from the League of Darkness. I gotta tell the police. Swing! Don't move. Ah. Uh. You're a bad boy. Am I gonna die? It'll only hurt for a moment. I've just implanted you with nano machines. It'll add onto the program inside you. It's not a huge change, but it's something we'll need to fight back. And now we can prepare our weapons. The Sentinels. The fuck? Man, that stinks. Uh, didn't I just get shot? Did you find the key? Nope, I found a gun. Okay. I still don't know what's going on here. But getting shot made me remember something. She shot me back when I was a kid, too. I was on the train, and the nurse from my school shot me. There were even other passengers around, too. No, wait. That was definitely Fuyusaka. She was all grown up, but I know that was her. Wait a moment. Slow down. You're talking about trains. Where is this happening? How do you not know? It's the place you keep sending me back to. The train platform. And this happened when I chased Fuyusaka onto her train. <sighs> so you're looking for the key on a train platform? Well, yeah. Wait, you mean... You don't even know where you keep sending me back to? Okay, I see. That means the person with the key is somewhere around there. No shit. You just keep looking. Where do I get the explanation? Seriously, the fuck? Making no goddamn sense. <sighs> All right, thirty-seven escape. Oh, we. Okay, yeah, that's right. We just have the different branching shit. Thirty-seven percent now. Uh, yeah, we're gonna love that. Cool. All right, so next we have somebody else at twenty-five percent. Where is? There you are. Oh, I also forgot to read his story thing again. God damn it. I really got to get better about that. About that. While searching for a lead on 426, Ryoko Shironome recalled the memory of her own Sentinel when she met her replacement pilot, Megami Yakusiji, at the Sentinel hangar. Yeah, I don't think she liked that. Easy. Take your time. Do you know where you are? Hospital. Sort of. Take those when your headaches start to get bad. The medicine is a bit strong. 
You may experience some temporary side effects. But don't worry, your memories will return quickly. Answer the question. 1985. What? Oh. I know what you're going to say. I'm fine, all right? I see. I just forgot to take my pills, that's all. Yeah, that's all. We just didn't drink our medicine. It's fine. Are you alright? No. Not really. We're still unable to time travel. I already know that. Just tell me when it's fixed. <laughs> My head. It hurts. There must be some sort of clue. Something that happened in 2064. I don't know. What do you think? You should get some rest. You don't need to worry about me. I can't go on. My head feels like it's splitting. That's not great. That's concerning. Where are you going? Out. Stop following me. That's not happening. Please stop following me. Where are the compatible ones? I should look at the pictures in their files. Oh, check the list near a student. Okay. How about you two? Tell me, Kisaragi. Kisaragi san, can I talk to you? <gasps> Gojo senpai! Is there something I can help you with? Anything at all? Yeah. Do you like sweets, senpai? Oh, no. Well, what sort of women do you like? Well... Have you seen this I... person before? What do you do on your uh, days off? I... Ooh, she's not I interested. Not say. Hey, what's going on? Why are you doing this? Uh, you need to run! What? What's going on? Did something happen? No, all good. Come on, Mibuko, let's go. Run away? Why do I need to run? Don't know, but I'm concerned. Wow, I get to do the stupid pills again? He calls himself a oh, wrong, wrong thing. This should make me feel a little better. Megumi Yakushiji. Yakushiji san, can I talk to you? I guess there's really nothing you can do about it. Do about what? You know, your condition. Oh, you mean when I take a handful of pills every five minutes when I just throw them in my mouth? Uh, look, it's Goto Senpai. Hey, Zumi-kun, oh, you're all right. Uh, I'm relieved. So Student council Not elections again, are senpai. coming up. He's running what? for president, right? I've already really? asked you to stop That's making amazing. fun of me. Smart I'm Kurabe. and handsome. Juro Kurabe. Everything a girl could want. Goto Senpai. Apologies, Kurabe. You can go ahead. <laughs> My head. It hurts. Girl, listen. The pills are not good for you. Should make me feel a little better. Grabe? But he's Izumi kun. I don't understand. I bet Renya Goto knows something about this. No, not 
none of them. Jiro Karabe? Explain. You have the wrong person. That's not possible. I wouldn't mistake him for someone else. There are certain things you're better off not knowing. Damn it, just tell me. Juro Izumi doesn't exist anymore. He's Juro Karabe now. His mind could not withstand the battle. He had to be turned into someone else. There is no chance of recovery. My head. It hurts. Oh my god. This pill thing is really obnoxious. This should make me feel... Izumi-kun. He has the same symptoms as I do. Hmm. I think you run. I think you definitely run. Please run. Questioning or something. We finally meet. You're Ryoko Shinonome san, right? Who are you? I'm Juro Izumi, and I need your help. We're going to save the world with that robot. Imagine that you being told, like, hey, yeah, uh, hi, I'm here, uh, get in my robot, we're gonna save the world. It's like, what? What are you talking about? I ain't getting in a robot and saving the world until you give me a better answer than that. Jesus. Alright, well, we're gonna go ahead and call the episode here, and we will pick up next time doing something. I don't know. I finished the game before I recorded these outros. Don't come to me for questions. Bye.